Hey, what's happening guys? So as for Fabrizio Romano, Leicester City about to hijack Leeds United's move for Leon Winger Tete. And I've got to say, this entire situation is completely fucking barmy. The reason being is that Leicester had initially made a move for Jack Harrison, but Leeds told them to do one. And they've responded by turning their attention towards what appeared to be Leeds' primary target for that right wing berth. With the Yorkshire club now focused completely on getting Weston McKenney from Juventus over the line. As per reports in France, Tete's been absent from training today ahead of a move to the Premier League. So expect this one to be wrapped up over the weekend once a medical and all the other jazz that comes with the transfer is completed. Moving on to Tete's background, he came through Grameo's academy in Brazil but didn't play a single game for their senior side, which is very unlike most of his compatriots, who generally stick around in the country for the first couple of years of their professional career before making the move to Europe. What was perhaps unsurprising is that Shakhtar Donetsk were the club who signed him up, for 14 million quid at that, as they've gained a reputation for bringing in the best young talent from Brazil and developing them into global superstars before selling them on for big money to one of the top five major European leagues. Now in case you're unaware, this fella smashed it in Ukraine after a short betting in period and was hugely impressive both domestically and in the Champions League, where he ripped Real Madrid a new one with a goal and assist during a famous 3-2 away victory at the Bernabeu. After winning the league in back-to-back -back seasons, as well as the Ukrainian Cup, it was thought that a transfer to a big club was just around the corner in the summer, but the Russian invasion of Ukraine changed all that, as a new rule was announced by FIFA stating that foreign players were allowed to sign with clubs outside of the country with immediate effect and Lyon pounced in March to take advantage of this loophole while other sides were focused entirely on their respective domestic campaigns. In France, he's continued from where he left off really and has 6 goals and 5 assists in just 19 games this season to show for it. What's most impressive is that outside of pure end product, Tete quite literally strikes fear into the opposition left backs with his wicked speed and skill, often choosing to take the piss with nutmegs galore. He's drawn comparisons to Iron Robin and they're not a million miles away from the truth because the lad does love to cut onto his stronger left foot while doing fuck all with his weaker right, all while showcasing an explosiveness which very few around the world can match. Although he's quite rigid positionally, Tete more than makes up for it with his dynamism, passing, movement and finishing. He's a center forward's dream in that he'll pick out any runs they make with perfectly weighted passes which are harder to miss than score. As illustrated by the graphic on screen, he's also overperforming on his expected goals, which is a sign of a player brimming with confidence and ready to take games by the scruff of the neck. The flair, skill and low center of gravity make him a bloody nightmare to defend against and once he does get into full flow while dribbling, he carries the ball forward at a rate of knots. Truth be told, and with all due respect to Leicester City, who I've got nothing but respect and admiration for, I haven't got a clue how one of the European giants haven't snapped Tete up. He was current Brighton manager Roberto De Zerbi's talisman during their time together in the Ukrainian league and I've got full faith he'll become a fine favourite at the King Power and give a much needed lift to all those at the club. He's been a Barcelona supporter since he was a child and, frankly speaking, I reckon he's got a far higher ceiling than the current Brazilian they have in his position in Rafinha. So enjoy this boy while you can before potentially selling him for a three-figure sum. Cheers for tuning in as always folks. In case you're new to my channel, I've already done a video on Victor Christensen which you can access via the top right hand corner of your screen. Do leave your comments down below and give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Take care and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Peace.